Welcome to a new iSocial Web's video about artificial intelligence applied to SEO. I am Luis and I'm going to explain step by step how to execute and understand a script generated by Alvaro Peña in which we will be able to cluster a list of keywords in a totally automatic way and in just a few seconds. For this we are going to use OpenAI's GPT-3. You should already know it, it is quite famous, it is the most used language model nowadays mainly because of the ease of connecting to the OpenAI API. To follow this tutorial you will need a list of keywords. For example, here I have exported a list of keywords from Amazon, directly some of the most visited keywords and you will simply need a CSV file with a header called Keywords and export it with the title Keywords CSV. You will also need an OpenAI key, for that you will need to have an account. You will probably have to enter a credit card and depending on whether you have already used the account or not, you will have some free credits or you will have to pay. Once you have the requirements we can run the code in Colab. You have the link in the description of the video and if you want more information on artificial intelligence and similar videos you can watch our channel where we will have similar use cases, all of them practical, all of them accompanied with a Colab and all of them explained step by step. Let's get started. So I've run all the code already so I don't have to wait for you to run things and waste your time while I'm explaining but basically everything. The code is separated by cells. You have to click on the play button here in the upper left corner to execute each cell. Here you have in green text preceded by armadillos all the comments that help you step by step and explain everything that the code does, but I'm going to explain it to you so that you don't get lost. Here we have the installation of the dependencies we need to use. This will extend Python to allow us to run our code. Just click on it, wait, and it should run without any problem. Next you have to upload your CSV to Colab, just click on it. Here you will see a selection of files to upload. Choose your keyword CSV and upload it. Next we are going to set all the parameters and make a series of modifications to our contents to be able to use them with OpenAI in our Chrome. We import all the dependencies. We are going to read our CSV of keywords and we are going to modify it by deleting here below the keywords title not to use it and giving it a format separated all by line breaks using this character to be able to include it in our Chrome easily. Finally you have to put here your OpenAI secret password the name says it, it's secret. You only share this password with people that you trust and that you want to use your OpenAI account since this key is the one that allows you to use the credits. Once you run this code and you have all the data we move to the next cell and here we are going to create an empty list of keywords categories. We are going to create some batch counters to be able to send things in a loop and save credits and we are going to use two prongs. I have extracted them here so that you can see them in higher quality and we are going to use a first prong which is for the following list of keywords. Two line breaks for OpenAI to understand and that this is a separate list and here we would put our batch of keywords separated by line breaks. We are going to work from 50 to 50. Returns only the name of the generic categories, one below the other, in which to group all the keywords. This would be what would be executed the first time. When the keywords list, as you can see, is empty. Once the keywords list is not empty, we are going to execute a second prong, and here it is. It is very similar to the first one. For the following list of words, our word list returns only the name of the generic categories, one below the other, in which to group the keywords. If the keyword fits in any of these categories, do not create a new category, and here we include the ones we have already created, otherwise return the name of a specific and well-segmented category. That is to say, what we want is not to repeat categories, therefore we pass the list of the already created ones. This is a very important detail, and if you do it for yourselves, it may be overlooked. And then we make a call. This is the typical OpenAI call. We choose the model, we pass our prong, the number of tokens, and the temperature. With this, you can always play a little bit. We then format the answer a bit and continue iterating until we use all the keywords that are in our list, in our CSV. Here we see that we have the counter. Once we exceed the keywords counter to our number of keywords, we will stop iterating. 
Here is a demo, for example, of some of the results you get, for example, wireless headphones, nail gels, and so on. Next, we are going to make the important step. We already have our list of generic categories. What we need now is, is to classify all our keywords according to them. So we are going to do a very similar process. We create an empty list, run a counter to save resources. We look at the number of keywords we have in order not to overdo it. And we are going to execute the following list of words. Assign a keyword to one of these. And pass it our batch of words and our list of categories. We make the same call to OpenAI. Format the result. Here we are going to make a series of filters so that you don't mess with the separations. Since you can include hyphens, you can include colons, and we are going to format everything in a table. And just here at the end you see that we have a table created. We are going to make a display, and you can see that we have a series of categories. In this case, electronics, beauty, leisure, real estate, home, and others. The truth is that they are similar to what Amazon uses. And here we have the different keywords that belong to each category. For example, electronics, wireless headphones, metronomes, ebook, Kindle, etc. As you can see, it is brutal as it classifies. Yes, it can fail. Yes, a manual person would do it better. But of course, we cannot work with thousands and thousands of keywords at this speed, and we can always do a second manual pass. This can be downloaded in CSV format. You can continue processing using Python to make further modifications to this data. But with this, we already have, as you can see, a very, very effective classification. I hope you liked it, and remember we have more videos on the channel. We will upload more videos, so subscribe if you are interested in artificial intelligence applied to SEO, and see you in the next one. Best regards.